Hi everyone, today we are looking at the best high priest, which of course is Jesus, and I want to share with you from Hebrews chapter 4, starting in verse 14. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are yet was without sin let us us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need i think one of the most amazing things about the picture of the sanctuary or the tabernacle or temple is the way this original old testament structure draws out the plan of salvation the entire point of all the animal rituals, of, of the temple itself. It wasn't an act of salvation. It was to point to a future act of salvation, that is Jesus. Jesus, who walked with humanity, who, who took on our frailties, our weaknesses, who was tempted just like we are. And through all of that, persevered. He persevered and was successful. He was without sin. Uh, there's been this quote floating around on the uh, on the internet uh, recently from A. W. Tozer, who's a who's a bit of a theologian, uh, and this is what it says: it "says the only sin Jesus ever had was ours, and the only righteousness we can have ever have is His. We have to be fully dependent on Christ, and we have to be fully ready to give our sins to Christ." Because that is the act of salvation. That is what the, the whole temple represents. That is what the whole, all the festivals represent. What an amazing high priest we have. One who takes our sins. He, he takes them on himself. And using his own body as a sacrifice. And out of that sacrifice, he gives us, he creates that righteousness for us. For all of us. How good is it that we can call Jesus our high priest and our saviour? God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.